Hello everyone, welcome to my Iron Man tips and tricks series. Starting off today, we're going to be talking about the Hosidious fruit stalls for thieving and why it's so beneficial for you outside of some pretty great experience rates per hour. Located in the Kurand Castle Courtyard and the Hosidious Town Square, these stalls require a minimum of level 25 thieving and 15% house favour in Hosidious. If you need to get your favor up, the only way to do so from 0% outside of quests is to push the players in the field just south of the Hesidious Township. Pushing these players will reward you with 0.1% favor every 5 or so actions. Occasionally these players will break requiring a hammer to repair. You should do this method of favor all the way up until 5% as at that threshold you can start to make sulfurous fertilizer which is created by mixing standard compost with saltpeter. To get compost travel to any of the garden suppliers around the game and buy at least 100. Each fertilizer counts for 0.1% favor so 100 will get you to 15% which is the requirement for the fruit stalls. While you're at the gardening suppliers, make sure to do yourself a favor and purchase a few packs of baskets because when we get stealing, you can place a lot of the loot inside of them. To get the saltpeter to create your sulfurous fertilizer, head to the saltpeter mines just southwest of the Hosidius Township. In the center here will be a clerk in a deposit box. Mine the saltpeter in the mines surrounding this area and deposit them in the deposit box. Once you have 100 and you've created 100 sulfurous fertilizer, come back to this location here and hand them in to the clerk for your house favor. Now armed with your baskets, 15% house favor and level 25 thieving, make your way down to the Hosidious Township. There are two different areas here that you can steal from fairly close to the bank. Starting off we have a safe area located in the house here. If you are choosing to come here, make sure to close the doors behind you. Where I prefer to do my stealing is right out in the open, in the town square. Doing so here will make the guard dogs aggro on you, but they are very easy to get into a safe spot as to not interrupt your stealing. To do that, simply thieve until one attacks you and then walk three squares north along one of the sides of the stalls. This draws the dog up with you and then go back to the southern end of the stall, trapping the dog on the tile diagonally north of you. When the other dog aggroes on you, simply do the same thing on the other side of the stall. So now you are here stealing away, getting all of this fruit for up to 40,000 experience per hour at level 25, but the XP is not the reason why you should be doing the fruit stalls, it's the loot. You have the chance of receiving 1 of 11 different drops at various rates. First off, the fruit that is of little to no use are lemons, red berries, limes and papayas. I recommend straight up dropping these or eating them if you took some damage from the guard dogs. The fruits you will want to keep and bank individually are pineapples, strange fruits, janga berries and Golova Nova fruit tops. The pineapple can be easily obtained via charter ships to use on compost bins to create super compost but you can gain them passively here over time, which is why I recommend banking them individually. Strange Fruits restore 30% of your run energy every time you eat one, which can really help out with early game questing and training to keep you running for longer, especially if you have low level agility. Jagaberries are a rather niche item. Their main use is for creating Zamorakian brews, which is widely considered one of the worst uses of a torsal herb in the game. However, these green berries have another lesser known use, and that is that they restore your prayer point by one. This doesn't seem like much on paper, but if you use them correctly in a thieving method, you can use the redemption prayer to heal your health when you fail a pickpocket on an NPC. Lastly, the Golova Nova fruit top is used to bake the botanical pie, which boosts your herb lore by 4 levels when you consume one half of it. Bake ball at level 52, these babies really help you out when you are pushing those herb lore gains in the late game. The remaining fruits, cooking apples, bananas and strawberries are the reason why you purchase the baskets from the gardening supplier. Each of these fruits are storable in individual baskets of up to 5 in each and are used to protect low level farming trees. When you are trying to train farming, there's nothing worse than coming across a dead tree you are relying upon for a solid experience drop. Starting off with the cooking apples, you can protect a willow tree for a single basket, a strawberry patch for a single basket, and a banana tree for four baskets of five apples. 
Five full baskets of bananas can be used to protect a single curry tree, and three baskets of strawberries can be used to protect an orange tree. Thank you very much for checking out the first in a long series of Iron Man tips and tricks. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.